Hi folks, Jason Webster here, lead commercial agronomist with Precision Planning. Hey, we are at the PTI farm and we're getting ready to go out and harvest some corn today. And as a corn producer, you're always asking yourselves, what is that perfect moisture of grain to be harvesting corn at? Now, when I was growing up as a kid, my grandfather would always tell me that we're not going to harvest corn until it's under 20%. And I would always say, well, well, Grandpa, why, why, why do we want to wait till it's under 20%? And his answer to me was, why do we want to pay somebody to dry our grain when that corn will just dry down naturally in the field? So what we've been doing at the PTI farm is trying to determine what is the best harvest moisture to make me the most money on a per acre basis. So we're trying to evaluate a lot of things. We're looking at phantom yield loss. Should we be harvesting corn at higher moistures to eliminate phantom yield loss? One of the things we did last year at the PTI farm, we took four hybrids of corn and we harvested them at four different moistures. We started at 27% wet corn and we let it dry down three points to 24. We let it dry down four points to 20. And then we let it dry down two more points to 18%. And we took the average yield of these four hybrids and we basically studied what the best or most economical harvest moisture was with those four hybrids. Now, I did it a couple different scenarios. One, I ran it in a commercial basis. And this would be an example of you as a grower harvesting your corn and taking it to a grain elevator where you're going to have to pay some commercial drying rates. And for me at the PTI farm, if we look at an average of four different local elevators surrounding us here where we can take grain to, at 27% moisture, we're paying 31 and a half cents a bushel to dry that corn. At 24%, we're paying 26 uh, cents a bushel. At 20%, we're paying 20 cents. And at 18%, we're paying 13 cents. But those are the rates that I have to pay for drying corn. So again, we took 27, 24, 20, and 18% corn, and we looked at the yield, and then we looked at the cost of drying it to come up with a net economic picture. And what we found with taking our corn to a grain terminal, letting them dry it, 24% corn actually made me the most money on a per acre basis. The wetter corn, the 27% corn, cost me about four dollars an acre which i was really surprised with that i thought it would be a higher cost going to drier corn letting that corn dry down to 20 percent cost me seven dollars and 36 cents an acre off the optimum at 24 and letting it dry down to 18 cost me near 15 dollars an acre to let that corn dry down naturally in the field so 24 percent taking it to town made me the most money on a per acre basis. So again, we're looking at phantom yield loss here. Do we experience losses as we let corn dry down naturally in the field? Is there a difference in kernel weight, test weight? Do we get higher harvest losses from butt shell from the grain head, okay, from the corn head? Or is it coming out of the back end of the co combine with grinding that drier corn, things like that? And so these are the things we're trying to evaluate. This was our first year of testing back in 2023. 2024 will be our second year. And we're doing the same thing um, with, with multiple hybrids. Now, that was a commercial scenario. Again, taking corn to a grain terminal and letting them dry it. Let's take a look at what happens when you have your own dryer at the farm and you can dry your own corn. And let's see if this scenario changed a bit. All right, so one of the things we did starting last year in 2023 is we put a new drying system up here at the PTI farm. This is a GSI quiet dryer, and this is allowing us to do some agronomic research in regard to what is that perfect uh, har harvest moisture in corn, and is there phantom yield loss happening? We just talked about taking corn to the local grain elevator and 24% corn was our most economical optimum harvest moisture. But what happens when we're drying our own corn here on the farm through this type of a system? Now, this dryer is set up on propane, and 
I'm paying $1.65 a gallon for propane, okay? And so as we're bringing in the same four corn hybrids that we mentioned earlier at the same four grain moistures of 27, 24, 20, and 18, the picture changed a little bit as I was able to dry this corn compared to commercial drying rates. What we found is that our wettest moisture at 27% corn actually made us the most money on a per acre basis. 27% corn was our economic optimum harvest moisture. Again, an average of over four corn hybrids in the field. Allowing the corn to dry down from 27 to 24, dropping at just three points, I lost 20 cents an acre, and I was really surprised in that. I smiled a little bit when we calculated the numbers because I said, that's my window. Right now, until this, these numbers change, based off our research here at the PTI farm, this is when we're going to harvest corn in that 27 to 24% range because that's what's making me the most money. Now listen, even if I wanted to harvest all my corn at 27%, dry it through this dryer, I couldn't do it because, again, this corn is going to be drying down naturally in the field, but 27 to 24 is showing me that that's my sweet spot right now based off our, our first go at this, and that's where we're going to stay until the numbers change. Now, what happens is we encounter drier corn and then put it through this dryer, 20% corn, I lost $8.11 an acre compared to the optimum of 27%. When I let it dry down to 18%, I've got losses over $25 an acre. I couldn't get the corn to 15%. It just wouldn't go there based on the weather we had. But I'm, I'm guessing that if we would have had 15% or drier corn, that, that loss per acre would have been $30 or more on a per acre basis. So again, we're trying to realize where are the losses happening? Okay, in this case, drying it on farm, 27% was our best harvest moisture. Why are we losing money when we let the corn dry down naturally in the field? Is there a phantom yield loss that's happening? This is only one year data. We've mentioned this a lot at the PTI farm. Academia says we need to do, do something three years in order to find out if it's repeatable. Test it for three years and see if it's repeatable. This will be year number two in 2024. We're going to continue this methodology of near 30% corn all the way down to as close to 15 as we can. And we'll look at the numbers and we'll look at the harvest optimums.